What's up YouTube? What up friends and fam? It's your boy Kenny Lucas back at it with another YouTube video. Let's go! Um, today I just want to talk about regret and to let that be your guideline and just to dig deep on that man. Like the other night I was thinking about that, about everything I regret and I was like god damn I need to fucking fix that shit because that's the type of stuff that we're attracting into our life, the type of people that we're attracting into our life, the type of opportunities we're attracting into our life is based off what we regret every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, your regrets can be as big as like, you're in a relationship, but you're still on Tinder, you're half-assed in the relationship type shit. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be, like you're stealing from the store or you're stealing from somebody or you know what I mean or you're scamming people for money you know what I'm saying like at the end of the day you're gonna you're gonna regret that shit you know what I'm saying even if it's not like a, at the end of this day but when you really think about it when you really when something goes down and you get caught you're gonna be like fuck man I wish I didn't do that shit um Hopefully it happens to you before you get caught so you can fix it while you're you still got the opportunity to fix it and you still got the opportunity at hand. But if it comes to the point where you can't fix it until you get caught, then that's that's all God's that's God's uh that's God's path for you, man. You know what I mean? Either way it's a good good thing, but hopefully you can just get it done. Uh just address that regret and live off that and let that be your energy to be a better person and like it's so clear cut like what what's right and what's wrong like stop stop worrying about what other people are doing man because once we start comparing ourselves to others about what they're doing wrong and how we can do that too nah bro everybody got a different fucking set of standards when it comes to regret you know what i mean i might do something that would make you regret but and vice versa, you know what I'm saying? That you can do something that I would regret, but you know it wouldn't it wouldn't phase you or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't compare yourself to others when it comes to regret, man. It's a very inner interpersonal uh, space to think about, to contemplate, to act on. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the things that your your regrets are gonna hold you back, man. Your regrets are the regrets are holding all of us back man like that's that's what it is if we're not progressing in this life we're regretting something because we're thinking about the past and we can't get over the past because we keep repeating the past and all it comes down to is those regrets you know what i'm saying and what's bringing me back brings me up to my next topic which is just to set a new standard you know what i'm saying set a new standard Lately, I've been regretting not working out enough, right? Not being in good enough shape. Not saying on my P's and Q's. So a new standard that I set, you can go ahead and set one standard at a time if that's what it takes. You know what I'm saying? So a new standard I set is just to hit the stair mill 30 minutes a day, treadmill or run or some sort of cardio for 30 minutes a day. Uh, lately, it's been the stair mill and just I've set that standard, man. Every day, I'm going to hit that stair mill for 30 minutes a day, no matter fucking what. I don't care, man. I don't care what the situation is because, like, dude, sometimes, like, it's only been, like, four days. But, like, there's been days like today. I didn't feel like going to the gym this afternoon. I already hit the gym a little bit this morning. Got about four workouts in. And then I knew I had to do the cardio. You know what I mean? Because that's my new standard. I do cardio now, 30 minutes a day. And I wanted to do it. And then I was like, you know what? Like, this isn't like, this is easier than, to me, it's easier than going to the bar and having drinks, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, going to the bar and having drinks, like, the amount of regret that comes off of that is fucking absurd. I don't get any regrets from going to the gym and going on the Stairmaster or stair mill for 30 minutes. There's no regrets that come from that. None. Only positive stuff that comes from that. Positive ideas, flow state. Maybe I'll interact with people at the gym, meet some new positive people. You know what I'm saying? Attract what we, uh, what we want. All from the regret. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I regretted not working out for so long. So now that I'm implementing it, now I'm attracting what I fucking want when it comes to that sector. And we got to apply this all, all aspects, man. You know what I'm saying? Mind, body, soul, family, fitness, finance. We got to apply pressure to all of those. Anything that we regret, if we regret not making enough money, figure out a way to make more money. Simple as that. And apply pressure, apply pressure, apply pressure until you fucking get it. You know what I mean? That's been the hardest one with me uh, pretty much my whole life is like sustaining that money, that money flow coming in while balancing everything else out. Um, you know what I'm saying? The best of my ability. And another one's been relationships, man. Like being faithful in relationships and sticking to it and not cheating and not fucking fantasizing about other girls and pornography and all that bad shit, man. All that bad shit's gotta go, bro. It's just, it's not okay. It's not okay to do that shit. It's not even okay to have one drink if, you know what I mean? If you have a problem drinking or you have a problem smoking, it's just not okay, man. It's not okay to dip down to somebody else's low standards because you want to hang out with them and be with them. It's, you're better off being alone for a little bit and just focusing on your regrets, not somebody else's regrets. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's all about, bro. That's what it's all about. Listen to that voice, that regret voice. That regret voice is... It's... Um, it's louder than any other voice in my head. And I'm pretty sure it's the same way with everybody else. That regret, man. That regret drives me fucking crazy. And I'm, I'm glad it drives me crazy because I don't want to be normal. You know what I mean? I feel like normal people don't have that regret voice or some shit. Uh, because they don't do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to be like that. So even though that regret voice drives me fucking nuts, I'm glad it's here. I'm glad it's here to stay because I need I need to change some shit to get where I want to be, to be in flow state constantly. And I'm grateful that that voice is shining through and I'm grateful I'm able to share it with y'all as we eliminate our regrets and set, set new standards on our lives, man. You know what I'm saying? We're starting out in the Toyota Corolla again, again. We were in the Toyota Corolla. I was in the Toyota Corolla when I first made this YouTube channel, which is nuts. Back in 2019. Go watch, I mean, go click on oldest and I'm pretty sure my first video where I was heading towards the oil fields or heading towards North Dakota was in my Toyota Corolla. I put a couple videos up before that, but nothing like me talking on camera to the people and stuff like that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this type of format because this is what it's all about, man. This personal development, this just really thinking about what we're doing next and not regretting it, not regretting that. You know what I mean? Being honest. Being honest is like, it's something I value myself on and lately I've been lying, bro. It's like lately I've been lying and I know that's not good, bro. It's like, I don't, I'm not a liar, bro. I'm not a fucking that's not my standard. My new standard is let's just tell people the truth, man. Because we want to we want to hear the truth, right? So why would I lie to somebody else just to impress them or just not to hurt their feelings? Why would I do that? Where if, where when I do that and I'm trying to impress somebody else or not hurt their feelings, all I'm doing is regretting that. And it causing more pain for everybody involved because the truth will set you free, man. The truth will set you free. It will set everybody free. You know what I'm saying? There's a way to do it. There definitely is a way to do it. And sometimes I've definitely been wrong at doing that. But uh, it's just not right. Living a life of lies, bro. Living a life of lies is not a way to be at all. People are driving like maniacs today. Um, but yeah, man, I hope you guys got something out of the video. If you did, just comment down below or just smash the thumbs up button. Follow me on uh, Instagram at KenLucasFit. You can always message me anytime on there. 
My Snapchat is Dog Lucas, which I've been more active on there lately. Uh, and yeah, I love you guys. Let me know what you want me to talk about on the next video. I love you guys. Peace.